imagine this. It's a perfectly sunny day. There's not a cloud in sight. Maybe you did or didn't see a bright light or flash or a fireball, but suddenly you are rocked to your core with what sounds like thunder and feels like an earthquake. You're surprised, possibly scared, and likely a little confused. This is what many people in Georgia experienced this afternoon when a daytime fireball entered our atmosphere, caused at least one sonic boom, and punched through the roof of a house in Georgia. So what happened? Why is it rare? What's happening now? And more importantly, what could happen next? This isn't your average fireball, and we're going to talk about why. If you like learning more about this kind of stuff, be sure to hit that like button. And if you think you want more information like this, consider subscribing. So at 12.25 p.m. Eastern Time on June 26th, people across several southeastern states reported seeing a bright fireball streaking across the daytime sky. The American Meteor Society received hundreds of reports of this fireball. Some of those reports described hearing one or more sonic booms or thunder-like rumbles and even shaking houses. Some people who were confused and rightly so alarmed phoned emergency services and notified them of the loud noise. Others mistakenly made earthquake reports. Windows rattled, dogs barked, and people stepped out of their homes and looked up at a perfectly sunny, cloudless sky and wondered what on earth had just happened. This was a rare event for a couple of reasons. First, seeing a meteorite in the daytime sky is rare. About one in every 700 reports to the American Meteor Society are made about events that were seen in the daytime. What makes this even more rare, though, is that it didn't just burn up in our atmosphere. It actually landed, and it landed somewhere where we can actually go look for it. Most meteorites land in the ocean or inaccessible lands or private or protected property where we can't go get them, but not this one. This one punched right through the roof of a home in McDonough-Hugh, Georgia, just south of Atlanta, earning it an even more rare title of a daytime hammerstone. A hammerstone is just any meteorite that hit anything man-made. That in itself is, is rather rare. This is also a really good opportunity, though, for science. So, the known piece so far, the single known piece so far, is small, but it is real. And it punched a hole in the roof and slightly embedded itself into the linoleum as it came to rest in a home, like I say, just south of Georgia. Thankfully, there are no reports of anyone in this home or surrounding area being hurt by this meteorite. Experts are now en route. Trust me, I know a few of these people who are headed that way right now. <laughs> Their goal is to search for more pieces of this meteorite. The brightness of this event, the sonic booms that it created, the, the numerous reports that were made about this event suggest that it was much larger than the single piece that we've currently recovered, which means that there's more than likely more pieces of this nearby. So what's next? It will be analyzed and officially classified. It'll be given a type name such as ordinary chondrite or if we're lucky, carbonaceous chondrite or lunar or something super exceptional. It'll also be given a place name. This name is typically given based on the location of the main mass. Right now I'm calling this the meteorite over Georgia because that's the, the best that we can do to what we can call it right now. But if most of the pieces continue to be found near McDonoughue, it will likely be called, that will likely become its permanent name. It will likely be called the Donahue meteorite. But if more pieces or a larger mass are found near Atlanta, Georgia, then we may end up calling this the Atlanta meteorite. We'll have to wait and see what type classification it gets and what place name it receives. My hope is that more pieces of this meteorite are found, and I hope that it's not just an ordinary chondrite, but something more unique, something that will help scientists learn about the origins of our solar system. 
even if it's just an ordinary space rock, it's still more than an exceptional opportunity. Right now, there are probably more pieces of this meteorite out there. Some of those pieces will likely never be found. Others might pop up in unexpected places like sidewalks and driveways and roads and yards and maybe even barns and houses. So this story is definitely not over. I hope to have updates soon on this awesome meteorite. In the meantime, did you see this fireball? Did you hear a sonic boom? Did your windows rattle or your house shake? If you experienced anything related to this fireball or know someone who experienced something related to this fireball, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your story and it just helps document this experience with more public input if you can share your experience with others. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this, remember hit the like button, consider subscribing, and in a world where you can choose to be anything, choose to be kind of a rock hound. Stay tuned for more updates. And a special shout out to the hunters. Good luck. I hope you guys all find something and I hope it's awesome. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Please enjoy some bloopers. I hope to have updates soon on this exceptionally rare. It will be analyzed and officially classified. It will be given a type name. Thanks, Fly. <laughs> Get them, but not this one. This one punched right through the hole. This one punched right through the roof of a home in McDonough, Georgia. At 12.25 p.m. Eastern Time on June 26th, people across several southeastern states reported seeing a bright fireball streak across the daytime sky. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my goodness, I kind of lost control of myself there for a minute. <laughs> okay, reining it back and trying to remember not to use obscene hand gestures when describing the size of the meteorite. Okay, okay, you can do this. It's, it's an exceptionally small piece and the hole that it left in the roof is kind of exceptionally small and so we wouldn't expect a big sonic boom or a bright light of this magnitude to be associated with such one tiny small piece. If you see something that made you say ooh ah wow, <laughs> um, definitely report that to the AMS.